If I understand it correctly, are you in the state legislature in Oregon as well? Did I hear that? Yes, I'm also a state senator in Oregon, Jay. Oh, all right. All right, fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Elizabeth, let me ask you. You know, patients say to me, oh, I don't want to know. I'm worried about how it's going to impact my insurance. Oh, my gosh, what's it going to do to our family? Is this a pre-existing condition, you know, for my children? You, know, you can imagine the scenario that rolls out of people's fear about wanting to even know, let alone the value of wanting to know. You want, can you elaborate on that for us? Absolutely, and that is a very important question. You know, there are two good pieces of information. The first is that a few years ago, the federal government passed what's called GINA, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, and that's designed to help prevent insurance companies and employers from discriminating against people who test positive for certain genetic changes. Okay. The other good news is that the Affordable Care Act that was passed in 2010 um, and which takes full effect in 2014 will make it impossible for insurers to deny insurance, health insurance, based on pre-existing conditions. So they can't deny insurance based on your genetic tests and everybody should have access to affordable health insurance at that point. So that's really good news. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.